today is an important opportunity in foreign policy because we'll be discussing uh, Pakistan and looking at a comprehensive approach uh, to how we support Pakistan. European Union seeks renewed collaboration and unity. On September 15th, European Union leaders met to discuss ways to further coordinate the organization's stance on various issues affecting the international community. In a State of the Union address earlier this month, European Commission President Jose Manuel Barroso called on the 27-nation group to join together and speak with one voice in its leadership role. Europe is, uh, was trying for years to, to, um, to speak, as we are saying, in one uh, voice. Uh, our endeavour is to have a unified European position when it comes to international uh, relations. The agenda for this week's meeting also included discussions about possibilities for assisting Pakistan's trade economy as well as a new trade agreement with South Korea whose approval by the end of the meeting was seen as paving the way for future collaborations with other countries. It is, I think, very important that the idea of Europe with one stem to let us speak, that that vooral ook in concrete maatregelen blijkt. We have a resolution over Kosovo kunnen goedkeuren. Daar zijn we wel in geslaagd. Dus er zijn ook successen. We moeten ze alleen maar vermenigvuldigen op een manier dat de mensen voelen dat het niet alleen maar uh, spreken is over uh, eensgezindheid, maar dat het ook toegepast wordt in de praktijk. European Union leaders, we appreciate your concerted efforts to serve both member states and the world. May your dedicated cooperative spirit lead to a prosperous and harmonious future for all nations. The EU's strategic partnerships.